Ooh, daddy. Hi guys, Alex here, and it is that time of month where we air our grievances about Nikocado Avocado, but this time's going to be a little bit different because we're actually going to take a look at Orlin's video that he posted on his channel called Leaving Nick and Moving On. I mean, it's about time, right? You didn't see those red flags years ago? Anyways, he uploaded this video just the other day and claims that he is leaving Nikocado, but they have been going on for, it seems like a few months now, they have been in a rough patch in their relationship and they're alluding to a lot of trouble behind the scenes. But that's not exactly what they show on OnlyFans and Twitter. Ugh. I don't even want to think about it. Those screenshots that you guys tagged me in on Twitter, how dare you? Let's just take a look at what he has to say about the situation. I've decided to just leave. I got on the car and I told him I'm not coming back because I'm just mad that he's still lying. He's always lying about everything. He's always lying about our relationship. And you guys believe it. He said that that french fry thing was fake. That was not fake. That was legit. That's legit stuff that he does. Every so if you guys haven't been keeping up with Nick Okado's channel, Orlin has actually been doing mukbangs frequently as well, but he claims that he has to do the videos with Nick Okado's leftovers and that basically the only food that he gets is Nick Okado's leftovers. And Nick Okado has, of course, all the money in the relationship and he actually is in control of the money that Orlin gets from his channel. So it's like Nick Okado has all the power in this relationship as well. But believe me, I don't buy into this whole thing as much as someone who's younger and just naive about YouTube in general. I believe down deep down that this is probably just all fake but it's honestly pretty messed up to have your next clickbait be about how problematic your relationship is but i don't really expect anything different from nick but orlin come on dude maybe it's time to actually buck up and leave i think the money's too good what else could it be? Single day. And you guys, you guys think it's fake. You think I'm acting. So I'm just done. Because it is fake. And I know that Nick Okado has a background in theater, but I'm not sure if Orlin does. He's just not that good of an actor. Not as good as Nick. I don't care. I'm just going to go away now. And I don't think I'm coming back. And you guys can just, you know, Keep believing him because that's what you do. How do people believe? How are people so gullible? How do you keep believing him? I feel like most of his viewers have to be pretty young, right? To fall for the same thing over and over again. A lot of people were fed up, of course, when Stephanie Sue came out about their failed collab. And the aftermath of that was just juicy. And that's all I'm going to say, because that has been done to death. I, I just don't believe anything that they do. Neither of them. It's just crazy. Crazy. And then you have the audacity to just bombard my messengers. My, what do you call them? The message boxes. And just, just telling me that I'm acting and that I'm lying. Like, you're just spamming me, telling me that I'm an actor? Like, what? What? He didn't even do a good job of lying about being fake. and You're not doing a very good job of pretending to be concerned about it. But you know what I find really funny is actually the comment section for this video is really positive and everyone seems to be here for Orlin and wanting him to get out of this... <laughs> 
relationship because it looks abusive when you see what they post on YouTube and YouTube is like that. You only get one window and you can manipulate what you show. Same thing with Instagram and anything on social media. You can handpick what you show the world and create your own narrative, your own story. Nick Akato, of course, is no stranger to doing stuff like this. But this one is just particularly icky. Like, he's a liar. He's a liar. You guys believe it. You guys eat it up. You guys. All right. So the same day that that went out, Nick Akato also put out this disturbing mukbang called happy day mukbang where it looks like we have some chick-fil-a and wendy's as well honestly orlin do you really want to eat his leftovers that just seems so degrading can you force a smile can you force one and smile even harder and be here hi <laughs> hi okay so if you continue to watch the video not even that far through look at this scene i have to say so elaborate look how defeated he looks all the food is gone it's like what's the point of even having all the food i love cheese wow some real tears i love cheese <laughs> I love <laughs> There's nothing oh. more disturbing than a giant man baby crying over a bunch of leftovers. Exhibit B, look at all of that ramen. We got the black spicy whatever. I think he actually did hit the 300 pound goal. <gasps> oh. It's like, how do you even explain this to an onlooker? Um, maybe I could put this here so you can hear me out for a little bit. I don't know. I don't feel like eating. I eat and cry on camera. I'm going to have to force myself to eat. <laughs> I'm going to... No, you probably just shouldn't. To eat to survive. <sighs> right, you have to eat. <laughs> Wendy. Um, <clears throat> I'm disgusted. Wow, I just rubbed snot on my eyes. Um, the entire situation is just disgusting. The clickbait, spousal abuse clickbait. Like, do you know how many people actually go through that? I don't buy for a second that any of it is true. It's just to rile up viewers. I think it's hilarious that. Orlin is getting so much support, even though it's not even real, but it's still funny to me. Nick Akato, of course, is the monster yet again. He just loves playing that role. It's definitely just like a role at this point. He's an easy villain, easy person to hate, I think. Just look at that face. Don't you want to hate it? Get demonetized. I feel so trapped sometimes from this platform. Um, um. I literally work day and night. I work like a three jobs. I don't even take one day off. And that's probably what, you know, made him so upset. He didn't have one day. I was just like, let's breathe. Um, it's uh, just food, 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 eating, eating, drama, drama. I can't imagine it in so many videos every single day. Everything is filmed and dramatized. Can you imagine living like that? And then just add on top of that thousands and thousands and thousands of calories. It has to get tiring. I'm surprised he hasn't taken a break in so long. Like, has he taken like weeks or even days at a time to just like think? And then you're bringing in Orlin to this. Even if this is fake, that is obviously just such a toxic household. And they're both packing on the pound so fast. Just thinking about it makes my head spin and makes me stressed. <sighs> Add the constant barrage from <clears throat> commenters. I'm a hustler, you know. I, I never had much growing up. I didn't come from much growing up. And I want to make a life for me and him. 
I mean, everything I do on my channel is with his heart and mind. It's for for his heart and mind, not and mind, in mind. It's for the thought of him. It's for what he wants out of life. You know, it's for protecting him and giving him some happiness. You know, America's expensive. He grew up in Colombia. If it weren't for me, he would not live here. Do you get it? Like, um. And you wouldn't have lived there when he let you. <sighs> Honestly, I feel like there is obviously a ton of underlying issues and it's manufactured and dramatized right for YouTube, but. There are some problems there under the surface. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.